five block jump. About a week ago, I made a Minecraft video talking about how many jumps it would take to make a five block jump. The number we got was so large, it almost made sense. However, at the end of the video, I said this. 30 times. That is how much it jumped. That is how much Uber whatever jumped and got five blocks. There is no feasible way, no explanation to why five blocks would only take 30 jumps and six would take 63,000. What does this mean? Well, it means one of three things. One, Uber might have cheated. Dream said he was able to recreate the jump, but he never showed any of the footage, so we'll count it as a maybe. We don't know if there were any speed or jump modifiers used, as it was undetectable. However, uh, Uber is a very famous for his parkour skills, so we're gonna count that as probably not, but possible. Two, jumping upwards has a more drastic effect on speed. Could it be that when you jump up, your speed actually increases more than when you just jump? And number three, we were always able to make five block jumps in the first place with pixel exact timing. The third one is easy to explore and disprove. I set up a ramp and began running back and forth. I would jump and measure the distance. I tried pointing my head in different directions as to get a different angle and seeing if there's any variation. And after going frame by frame to isolate the results, every jump was consistently 0.6 seconds and a distance of about 3.8 blocks. But you might be saying, what about sprint jumping? So I did it again, with jumping three times. Once again, I was only able to jump four blocks maximum. So that's crossed off the list. Something interesting to note though. Y velocity is consistent. Each sprint jump also only took 0.6, or 0.6 of a second. So that's interesting. Anyway, let's move on to option number two. The more interesting one. Jumping upwards has a more drastic effect on speed. While I was never able to recreate the jump myself, it has been proven twice on YouTube, apart from Uber. So for this to work, we're going to need to assume two things. Number one, Minecraft players all jump at consistent angles. For me, my jump sequence and tests have proved have conclusively proved that if you jump facing relatively straight, it's the same dis it's the same angle of jump. The second thing we're going to have to assume is that the jump is in fact real. That after jumping that set number of times, Uber was able to make the jump. Legit. He displaced 5 blocks at the least. So what does this mean? Well, it means that we can go back to our physics velocity, projectile motion, whatever equation. Luckily for me, I've already done this in the previous video. So let's now see what is the velocity is. Pass self, roll the clip. The AN equals 5.612 meters per second. Small difference, but very noticeable. So there you have it. Thank you, past me. Now let's get that number up to 5.615, because that's just a nicer number, and we're being on the safe side. Now let's consider that Uber was just about perfect. If you, if you rerun his video, you can see that he actually leaps over 5 blocks. But regardless, let's say that he just made it, on the pixel, with 16 vertical jumps. That is how much he jumped, 16 times. Once again, my past self can help us with the methods. But instead of thinking about it as an arithmetic sequence, we can also consider the possibility that it's a geometric sequence, where a constant is multiplied by the previous term to obtain the preceding ones. Res regardless, I'm going to conclude that the arithmetic sequence is more likely to be the correct answer, as it makes more sense after doing the math. Now, in the previous video on this issue, we concluded that per sprint jump, the increase in speed is 0 0.001 meters per second. In this one, the distance per vertical sprint jump is 0 0.000935 meters per second. 
It is a very small distance, difference, sorry, but very large when you consider this is referring to speed. So with all this information, the number of vertical sprint jumps that you need to make a six block jump is 1,494. This is a much smaller number than our old 63,000, but it is still very large. And yet, it kind of makes sense. If these jumps do provide you with more velocity at such a small rate, you need a great velocity, hence jump number, to make a six block jump, as that chasm is so much larger. However, it is important to note that if Minecraft has a terminal velocity, or a highest possible speed, this would become an impossible jump. But we're onto something for sure. Or are we? Because I wanted to make sure of one thing. Is the five block jump possible? And you might be saying, uh, yeah, haven't we already concluded this? Well, no, because we don't actually have to jump to measure displacement. Using pixel exact reference frames, I set up the exact scenarios you can see up on screen. And instead of jumping, I jumped whenever I wanted to. I just jumped. And guess what? I displaced 4.5 blocks, which in and of itself is astounding, but it also means that had I been jumping on the trapdoors, I would have missed anyway. And I did this a lot, and the highest I could get was about 4.5 blocks. So I'm going to say, unless there is a trick that I'm missing, and there's something you should be doing, maybe it's version dependent, whatever it is. The five block jump has a trick to it. There is something that we are missing. What is that something? I don't know. Could it be versions? Most probably yeah. Could it be a command block in a very far distance TPing you if you're in the exact right position to make the jump? Also maybe yeah. For now, it's unclear. But what have you learned from this video? Well. Probably nothing, but if you don't enjoy then consider leaving a like and subscribing, it would really mean a lot to me. I'll see y'all in the next one, thank you so much for watching, hope you have fun.